What's going on, you YouTubers? Microscale Garages. Today we're going to build the links. And I'm just watching, listening to some bass rebels. This is what we're going to be listening to. He's uh, live streaming right now as of this recording. So, let's grab those little snips and let's head to it. After this recording, you guys, I need to get one of these Tim scales going. I mean, Christine's truck, um, I went through some water bad when I walked over to my mom's house the other day. <laughs> I had to. <laughs> it was like wet and mucky. And um, there's a lot going on with her truck right now. Uh oh. Oh, that's a lot of water that just fell on my TTO, too. A lot of the tires. But anyways, that gear, I need to change that spur gear. Well, it's hard to see up here on the shelf, but I need to change the spur gear. I need to buy a new receiver box. Um, I'm hoping the servo still works because uh, I'm going to take the servo out today and I'm going to put it in my TRX4 so I can walk over to my mom's house and give her that 3D print of that vase bowl that I wanted to print, but I want to print her a better one. And then before we get the, this is the filament that I got sent from Amazon the other day. I got the gold, the silver is in the uh, mono price. That's what I use to uh, print the uh, roof rack in the vlog. And then I got the gold in the almond but it keeps clogging up. And then uh, this is the metal bronze. Now, let me, I don't know if this is like just the color, like it means metal bronze or if this stuff actually has metal in it because in the directions it was saying something about you can only use like the smallest nozzles of 0 0.4. And so it's clogging up on me on a 0 0.4. <laughs> But let's get the building. And I want to grab some more parts because I think these link, these axles are OH, are for the uh, two to two. And I think these go to the PJ. So that'll be a nice upgrade for the D10 if these are the same. Dry shafts. Yeah, MD5 300. All right, I got to order some more parts. All right. I'm not for sure if these are the ones that go in the uh, OH32A0, um, A02. But if these dry shafts will work out, I think these are for the... Oh, no, they're not the F-150s. Oh yeah, all right. So we got upgrade parts for the D10. Sorry, Mishibishi, I'm so sorry, but I will order you some drive shafts. So we got a 300 RPM motor. <laughs> this is excellent. Forgot all about that. I had that up there on the wall. All right, I was having an SD card issue. Um, I went and got the snips. So before we start building links, we're gonna do a little bit of body work. And I've been uh trying to glue like the wind like the window um I'm gonna 3D print another roof rack so that way this comes up a little bit more. I'm just gonna have two versions and then uh I'll uh I'm gonna start today, later on today I'm gonna design the bars, they're going to go down, come here and come here because I want to run the steely on the uh, on the hood and then maybe run one on this back of the spare tire, but I do want one on the hood. But I love the, uh, I love the Orlando Hunter symbol. Oh. The next print I'm going to, uh, I broke that. <laughs> the next print I'm going to print it real slow. I printed that fast. I mean, I was printing it fast, so. Let's see here. All right, so we already cut here. And you'll get like a stress mark. I got the stress mark over here. I was cutting too much, and I cut anyways. And I got a stress mark over here by that by that rivet right there in the body. And so I don't want that, yeah, all this I cut, so. 
We don't want to bring it all the way up to the body, but just enough. Just kind of like where it lifts it up. Now that right there was too close to the body. Heard that pop. Hope this is all in camera view for you guys, cause uh, Ace Rebels, man, be doing the vibey songs. I love it. There we go. All the fenders are off. And then we're gonna sand those down. And I got so many of these um, fender flares. Trying to, I'm gonna print some more. And then I'm gonna uh, want them like that. I still want my signals. And I'm gonna pick the best ones that I send so that way they're the flattest. And then I might shorten them up too. Um, when I reprint them. I might end up reprinting them. Which when I get black PLA, I might end up reprinting them in black so that way they're just in black so I don't have to paint them. But, um, or I'll just print them in silver so that way they'll look like they're metal when they get scratched up. Yeah. Yeah, I'll print them in silver. Then paint them so they don't get scratched. Yeah, they're like they're metal ones. That'd be kind of cool. Um, I am gonna shorten that though. Just to give you an idea. And then I'm gonna ask uh, Dominic for the file. See if I can get that TRX4 bumper. If not, I never downloaded it off of him. I just I had downloaded his roof rack. And at the time I had a little bit of PLA when I tried to print it. And it didn't uh it didn't print right because uh the supports I didn't have the supports and my printer wasn't set right. So and I was telling you guys about how I printed Randy's and then I started changing Randy's design up. And then these bars are here from the green PTEG. That's from Dominic's design. So I didn't do a lot of design on the roof rack and stuff, but I'm gonna put some more work into it. Just make it a little bit of my own. All right. I already started on the uh, steering link. Started building my steering link already. I gotta get some pliers. That's the reason why I stop. And I gotta get my micrometers. All right, I don't know how I'm gonna. I just grabbed some pliers I had <laughs> down here. I don't know how I'm gonna like. Uh, grab my. It's supposed to be nine millimeters in between. So I'm just gonna build these links, and then I'll show you guys the size you guys know how to put the links together so we want the GoPro to focus but nine millimeters in between the plastic let's check it 
Actually, you always want to zero out your calipers. We're way past nine, so let's go ahead and just set our calipers at nine. I mean, do you guys really want to see me sit here and turn a link with music? I don't think so. Plus, these giant pliers that I'm using is not helping. some of these birds off real quick. Normally this only takes me like 20 minutes in the past. This this build taking me forever. But I am taking my time on this build. I really like the plastic this time around if it don't feel as brittle as like before you could mess up real easily and crack these um these rod well you know the rod ends could just drill right through i mean you could probably drill right through still with the rod end but not like before like before with the jeep and before with the f-150 especially i was popping i mean I think I had to order, I know I had to order like more ball studs and stuff and more caps, but I know I had to order more caps. I'm doing that. All right, so I'm getting my pliers out. I thought I was just gonna be able to twist it on, but it's barely on. And this link, they wanted 22.2 millimeters, you know, from end to end. Really and truly, what you want to do is you want to have like a cloth, like a rag, just something. It's been like six weeks or six months. I mean, yeah, we are at 2202. And I'm just gonna guess because I always know that you always do the steering linkages first, so I believe. I'm just guessing. I mean, whatever link is single is not gonna have us doing a pan hard bar. That would be sweet though. They should put that in the kit. Pan hard bar really helps. Even with four links. I'm telling you, you still need one when you put the bigger tires on. the second one. There we go. Uh, track looks a little bit off. It don't look all that. Alright. Uh, I'm going to have to remike that make sure that that's 2202 but I might have to go to like a little bit, a little bit longer. Look at that. I look straight. Let me know, you guys. Looks pretty straight. All right, change of design plans in 15 minutes in. I decided to go 13.80 because, yeah, it just seems logical to go 13.80. If it has to be 13.08, I'll change it. But I'm gonna go a couple more threads in. And like, share, subscribe, YouTubers. <laughs> and, uh, Everybody's like, 14 minutes in, Jesus. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just gonna spin this link a little bit more and then we're gonna go ahead and build the rest of these links. And then uh, I'll show you guys how to just put them on the axles and everything. <laughs> 
We're not gonna go super long videos. You know, we've, we've done this rodeo before, but it's just real fun hanging out with you guys. I just wanna make it more entertaining for you guys. So I know that this part is probably not the entertaining part. So both of these links are here at 13.81. The next links I'm gonna work on is the same size, but it's gonna be 14.2, so those are probably gonna be the rears. Not really for sure. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna go 14.20. bottom links um, and I believe these for the front please for number nine set your micrometers to 24 20 millimeters those links have to be 24.80 so those are probably the fronts, these are probably the rears. Uh, I think that's the hardest part of building the links, is getting your measurements. 2480. Alright. Move this stuff over real quick. Take our 2480 links, put them over here. GoPro SD card. We will turn the page. All right. So five, six. We already did that. So the 13.88s, they want the top, and 9, 24.22 at the bottom. our front axle complete with links so 
So they want eight at the top, which is our short ones. Those should be your 14.20s. Snowing too, and I get ready to walk over my mom's house. So it's gonna be an epic ride with the TRX4. I haven't drove my TRX4 in a while. Sandpaper works better. No, I just figured that this would be quicker. Alright, I want to say uh, like, share, subscribe. Peace and love. God bless. I'll see you guys in the next video. Let's get these. Get that last link on. Right, micro scale garages. This is the OH32A03 link build video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a long video, but yeah, we got it done. That's the way you do it, the proper way. <laughs>